All right, I uh, see. We got to go over something very important, very, very, it's very important, bro. Because a lot of you guys have been, you know, y'all been having heart attacks, bro. Y'all dribbles. I know y'all seen this shit and y'all was instantly like, oh, man. Y'all was definitely getting ready to hop back on 22 for another year. But wait, Captain Dunga is here. Captain Dunga is here. He is here to, 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 to put your minds at ease. So what we got right here is Joey. Joey knows. You know he got his gameplay out of the of the Jordan challenge, and he showed us a little dribbling. His his gameplay is probably best when it comes to dribbling and showing off the stamina system. So I'm going to watch his video. So the video is on mute because I want you to listen to the amazing music in the background. Isn't that amazing, bro? I know it is. Thank you. So anyway, I'm breaking down myself. Y'all see, y'all have the original stamina meter, then you have the adre adrenaline boost on the bottom. So that's like. This is three bursts. You got three chances to score, nigga. And if you don't, you gotta pass the damn ball. Y'all, the 2K's not playing with y'all boys this year. They not having the left, right. You know what I'm saying? And, and I definitely, I definitely agree with them, bro. You can't have that. Definitely not in this year. If you wanna push IRL basketball, definitely IRL community stand up. You already know what it is. <sighs> Look, man, you already see. But the thing about dribbling is there's always a way to work around it. You're going to have your guys. You're going to have those YouTubers that think they're going to come. <laughs> now, I ain't going to lie. Y'all allow them to do this every year, bro. You got you guys like Steezo and G-Man. They're going to play for the first month, and then they're not going to touch the game for the whole rest of the year. They're going to, they're going to, the only purpose, the only sole purpose they come back is to break the game dribbling wise. They're going to find out the, the good dribble moves, you know what I'm saying? You want to find the good dribbles, how to break the game, quote unquote, and then they don't touch it for the rest of the year. I'm not, I'm not exposing nobody. I'm just saying how it is, bro. Like, it's their egos, you know. They want to come back and prove that dribbling is not dead and all that, and you can still combo up. And they're doing it for y'all because y'all definitely coming to every 2K thinking dribbling is dead, and I'm telling you, it's not. But y'all see some moves actually. Don't even use an adrenaline boost like the the classic behind the back. And I've been using this move actually for a little bit. Like I'm not talking about the regular behind the back because that does take an adrenaline boost, I think. But I'm talking about the moving arm um, behind the back, which takes hyperdrive. You have hyperdrive. People didn't use that badge, bro, in 2K22. But hyperdrive, low key, low key was the yo. I gonna lie, that was a good move. You had hyperdrive, and you do behind the back, uh, behind the screen. That was nasty. So. Right here, right here, I, I, I don't know, like, look, bro, look, you see, why did, he went straight, and then, it just took an, it just took a whole bar, you see, it didn't happen when he did the behind the back, it happened when he crossed the half court, so, maybe I'm, I'm about to learn something new, bro, maybe, if you do, if you spin drill moves <laughs> in the back court, it will, nothing will happen, but as soon as you come in the front court, that doesn't make any sense it doesn't i know it doesn't make any sense y'all i i don't want to say that because it, it doesn't make sense to me like if i spam drew moves in the back court it wouldn't have any effect but until i step on um up court on the other side of the court it doesn't make any sense because he didn't do anything right here did he you see the game still has flaws Ooh, i see he didn't do it he didn't do shit did, did he do shit fellas did he do shit he didn't do anything. You see, he did a little crossover right there. That cost a little bit of a little chunk of stamina. Now he about to do a momentum. Oh, that's not momentum. Okay. He did a little cross back to the left. That took it. That yeah. That counts as a boost. Uh, another snatch back. Behind the back. You see that behind the back definitely took a away an adrenaline boost bar fast. It took away fast, bro. It took away fast. So I guess this is the um the thing to tell if you open or not, right? It tells if you're open or not. The contest system, I'm pretty sure. Oh yeah, he's out of stamina. Definitely, he's out of stamina. Look at this shit, man. But in all hindsight, you wouldn't need to dribble this much in a regular park game anyway. You would have been past the ball up. I ain't gonna lie to you. <clears throat> this is excessive right here. Uh, right to the left. Like those are unnecessary moves. Like, like, like I said, they cutting the bullshit out, bro. No unnecessary moves. So, I guarded a lot of unnecessary moves this year. Oh my god! 
a lot of unnecessary moves I have guarded with my with my um I should go back and just look I just go back and show y'all man on another video bro on my 2k22 gameplay I have guarded the most unnecessary shit ever bro I'm glad it's gone no more unnecessary moves like I'm not I'm not talking about Joe Nose right here because you know he's just trying to show off the gameplay but in park what's unnecessary is this you're, you're where you where you going bro and if that's not if that's not unnecessary, that's cool. It's cool, but that's unnecessary. What he just did right there, that's unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Look how far. <laughs> Don't do that, bro. Behind the back, and there's no screen neither, bro. That's unnecessary as well. So you really have to be really smart with these drill moves. Like, look at this. Okay, he's out of energy now, so it's definitely he needs to pass the ball up. But at the same time. Here's how you can get more stamina. Y'all know y'all could go buy the Gatorade boost, right? The Gatorade boost, y'all could go buy the Gatorade boost. Definitely that. And then you can, um, what's it called it? You, now gym rat is a must. Gym rat, see, last year in 22, you can get away without having gym rat. But now, <sighs> gym rat is a must. Gym rat is a must. Gym rat is a must. Like I tell you, those gym rat tutorials are gonna hit this year, bro. Because a lot of people are gonna struggle with their stamina. Especially since especially early on. When the people who just upgrade their build to 86 or 85 and just hop in the park, they're gonna have so much trouble with their stamina. So much trouble. They're not gonna be able to dribble. Like I said, you're gonna have to get gym rat, a Gatorade, and you're gonna have to, you know, a lot of people are gonna have to have uh, handles for days, especially you ball handlers, handles for days on the highest tier. You know what I'm saying? You guys are gonna have that on the highest tier it can go. Just to get, even if it's not much, it gives you extra breathing room to to do these unnecessary drill moves to get open. You know what I'm saying? It does help. And it's still gonna be realistic because if you have all that stamina, now you won't have asthma like Jordan right here. You'll be dribbling like a normal person, but it's not gonna be OP like 22. It's just gonna be regular. Say, say, um, you're still gonna have to you, you're gonna still have to deal with this because I think this is an input like this is a regular system. But the stamina you can manipulate the stamina bar. This is what you can manipulate. I don't think you can manipulate the adrenaline boost. So initially, what I thought is when the stamina runs out, then you have this as backup to do some quick little moves. But no, this actually is active all the time. So look, you can definitely manipulate moves like this that take moves off of the stamina bar. Like the, like I said. Those, that's the reason those guys like Steezo and G-Man come back. They want to see which moves are using the stamina bar and which moves use adrenaline boost bar. So that's why they come back, but they come back and then they say, all right, fuck. They come back and prove that, okay, they show y'all the best drill moves and everything. And they do be like, all right, I'm out. I'm dipping. <laughs> I'm dipping. But I ain't gonna lie, you gotta, you gotta choose this this year's season. You gotta choose, bro. If you gonna come back, you gonna come back. If you don't, 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 don't come back, man. Cause it's gonna be very different. It's not gonna be like it was the rest of the years. This year is gonna be different. It's gonna take a lot of studying. A lot of, a, a lot of people gonna have to get in that lab to really decipher what drill moves are the best. You have to know what drill moves use this amount of stamina, that amount of stamina. I remember what Russell Westbrook's signature size up in 2K21 next gen. Take some juice. <sighs> I remember in 2K21 next gen, Russell Westbrook had the best size up because it was a move that didn't use any stamina at all. You flick up and then he does like you don't even play out the like the whole signature size up, but you like play up two seconds of it and you just burst off. And it was so unexpected. It was efficient, yet it didn't take any stamina. The only stamina you would use is when you're running to the basket. Or when you run to your spots those are the type of moves i'm talking about those glitchy drum moves where you don't even have to use a lot and they're hella effective those are going to be so valuable this year because look at this shit. <coughs> there's definitely ways to work around this look at that you see he just he's just going to the left but the, that ai he's on it but remember these are ai's guarding you these are not real people so you'll be able to get to your spots definitely these ai's are just y'all you know, know how the ai's play defense they're on crack you know what i'm saying but it is what it is you see like you gotta cut the unnecessary moves out 
these moves don't be working on the AI, not on the AIs, bro. Y'all just gonna, like I said, I'm gonna have a whole meta on my channel about how to get your shooting badges and all that, so don't worry. You're not gonna use these moves on the fucking AI, bro. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> You're gonna get your stuff and get the hell out of it. And you know Jordy doesn't have a good three-point shot anyway. His shit right now is probably no higher than a 75. Y'all know how Jordan got down. So it's not like it's not like Jonos could just come down and like just splash a three in people's face. Like y'all gonna be doing in my career. So I wouldn't take it that far. It's not that serious. But y'all see, man, that's how the dribbling's gonna go, bro. Like a lot of y'all just gonna have to get a lot of stamina. Y'all gonna have to get in the um the what the, the um the lab and find out the best dribblers because you are gonna have to use your own sticks right leave that to the content creators to find the best moves to use that don't use a lot of stamina and how to chain them together and then y'all will be fine bro if we, they, they do this every single year bro they do this every single year the only thing you're gonna have to do is manage your boosts or your or your speed bursts you know just manage that and you'll be fine but the dribbling system does look good it's definitely a step towards in the right direction if you want to go IRL play style and still maintain that arcadey feel which is hella fun you get contact dunks and everything and all that shit you can still shoot from deep but the dribbling is just gonna have to take a, a quick a quick little tune down it's not it's not it's nothing wrong with that but Anyway, let me know if I explained it the best with y'all. Let me know how y'all feel about it. And this is probably just how to um, keep your stamina up, bro. Tips to how to keep your stamina up. But anyway, there's a lot of ways to do it, bro. Everything I just mentioned in this video is legit ways to keep your stamina in tune. And not have asthma every 10 seconds, alright? So, yeah, man. Until next time, fellas, I'm out. Well, make sure you guys tap one of these videos up there. Y'all see it, man. Yeah, y'all see it, bro.